mushroom quinoa. Uh, as you can see, I've cut up all of my little mushrooms. They're organic, uh, just regular mushrooms. Um, and then I have water sauteing um, my onions uh, and different kinds of peppers. Uh, they're just about finished sauteing. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to mash up uh, two of my Instant Pot potatoes. Uh, that's going to serve as my thickening agent uh, for this dish. And then I'll season it with uh, some smoked paprika, I have some garlic powder, a little sage, uh, just a little sprinkling of liquid aminos. Uh, as needed, I'll use the vegetable broth. And I just simply love uh, this um, Neapolitan herb um, balsamic vinegar. And I'll just use regular white um, organic quinoa for this dish. Okay, I just added in my mushrooms. I'm gonna stir that around a little bit, turn down the fire. Let cook without a lid. And what you see right here, I have mashed up my potatoes and I poured in a little bit of the veggie broth. You could put this in a blender if you want to make it really, really smooth, but it's not really necessary. And this is actually where I'm gonna put most of my seasonings. So I'm gonna put about, um, I'd say maybe a, maybe a, a half a teaspoon of sage, uh, about a half a teaspoon of liquid aminos, um, maybe a teaspoon of this Neapolitan herb, um, balsamic vinegar, a whole teaspoon of um, smoked paprika, and a whole teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, I just added in the rest of my vegetable stock and uh, just washed my quinoa. I put a cup in here for this size skillet. And I'm gonna stir it around. And looks good. I will cover it and let that cook on a very slow fire until the quinoa is fluffed and then this is done. Very, very easy recipe. Every now and then you have to make sure and give it a stir. Make sure it doesn't stick at the bottom. And with my stove, as I, even though I put it on low, it's not as low as I wish it would be. So I really have to make sure and stir every now and then because I do not want this to stick. Um, it's probably got about another, I'm thinking 15 minutes to go. As soon as the quinoa is finished, uh, then your dish is done. And make sure that you have a lot of liquid before you put that top on because quinoa requires a lot of liquid. All right, the quinoa has just started to pop. And what I've done is I've turned off the fire now. Um, it is not quite finished. Uh, the very, very important part of this now is to cover it and let it sit for about 10 minutes so that the quinoa can continue to open and pop, um, but we don't want to cook it anymore. We're good now. My goodness, if you could smell this house, there's something about mushrooms that just put a crazy wonderful aroma in a dish. It's all fluffed. It is done. My mushroom quinoa. Give it a try. This is awesome.